Did you know that after 30 of 36 races, you are the unofficial points leader in the Winston Cup standings? <laughs> what does that pay? Oh, I don't know, but uh, yeah. Well, I know. You're, you're 42 points Zero. up Martin Truex Jr. now. So you're saying, okay, I'm just trying to figure this out. Oh, I just clicked on a link. Yeah. Is that the link? Is that the link to the Winston Cup standings? So that is the, it runs straight through. There we have, no we talk about this every single yeah. year. Okay. So this is the season long. It's me, then Martin, Busher, Bell, Brad. Minus 42, minus 44. But this is like, doesn't winning get you like 185 points or something? So it's, I don't know. The points I are just pretty know tight. That around this time every year, you bring up, well, f if they never changed the points structure from years ago, yeah, I'd have they like actually five crown, If they actually crown the real champion? Yeah, you yeah. have like five of these things. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, I, don't, I don't think they should do season long. I, I would love, again, we, we talked about this late last year. If you're going to crown a champion, I just disagree with doing it during one week. Like, that's just, what is the significance? Winning one race should not mean that you're the champion. Winning, you know, if you, you got the sample size just needs to be bigger. I, I think I said move it back to 12 guys. 12 weeks, 12 guys, right? Is that 12 weeks, 12 guys? No, maybe it's 11 weeks. I'm not sure. But I said, if you're going to do a three-race season, do it the entire way. So the final four has three races to uh, determine the champion at different tracks. Like, because we're just thinking about, you know, what we're going to talk about in, in all the media is like, well, who runs good at Phoenix? That's who your champion's going to be. Whoever's good at that, that track. Well, sh we run all kinds of tracks throughout the year. Uh, if you put it at, at a homestead, there's going to be a clear favorite. If you put it at a road course, there'll be a clear favorite. So it's just, you know, when you deal with other sports, they don't change the size of the field. They don't change the arena on a basketball. It's always the same. The hoops are the same. Everything is the same. It's just you, you go to a different area. In our sport, it's like, well, it's the, does your team run well at that track? Wouldn't that be like home field advantage? No, because the court is still the same. It's just the audience. And 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 by the way, there's ball and strikes called made at a home home field or home court advantage. The there's no question. I mean, statistics prove this is that when you are at home, you get more calls from the refs. So the the fans make a uproar of some sort, and next thing you know, you got the umpire throwing the flag because he feels like, oh, what did I miss? Right. Like it just there there's different factors like that. In racing, it's how does your it doesn't the fans don't matter whatsoever. Once you get in the car, you can't hear anything, you can't see anything. You're just do you run good at that track? I think personally, you know, it's it is so different, but do the season long? No. I, I get it that used to be the old Winston Cup way, but Back when we at least had 10 weeks to crown our champion, like that was like you had to put together 10 weeks of excellence. Now, you know, people are, are st***ing on Martin Truex after four bad races. I, I don't care. He, he can show up next week and win and win the next week. Move on, and he could easily be your champion this year. And yet we're crapping on him after four races of the playoffs. It doesn't matter anymore, folks. You just move on. And if you move on, it comes down to one race. And that's how your champion for the entire year is decided is through that one race. Sure, but momentum matters, right? Oh, if the, if the one race was next nope. week, would you feel as – take yourself out of the situation. If mm -hmm. the one race was next week, would you feel better about the 19 car well, or the 11 Tell me car? where the track is. Phoenix. Phoenix? I like the 19. One of those cars has been running mid-pack for the last four weeks. The other one has been consistently in the top five. I get it, but it's it doesn't relate. It does not relate because the tracks don't relate. Now, are you saying that like the 19 or the 5? I think it's that's a close call. But if it was I'm a mile and a half, a it's not it a close call. Like, it doesn't matter right, what the car number right is. Not right now. It doesn't matter what the car number is. It's a team that is entering the playoffs on a five-game win streak and a team that's entering the backing into the playoffs on a four-game losing streak. 
which one do I feel better about in that single-handed game? Uh, yeah. It, if you make it to the final four, you're not on a five game lose streak. You, you've, you've had to perform, you had to perform somewhere at some point in the round of eight. So it's not, it's not like you're completely or without you could momentum. have just performed really well in the regular season, won the first eight games and then like dropped six of eight. I and know. I still hear you. find yourself in the playoffs. Put me in as a vote of either you go back to 10, 10 drivers, 10 weeks, crown a champion after that 10 weeks use a regular season points you know you can start them in, an, in advance of that maybe you double the regular season points so that, that way you're real ch- so in other words if you win a stage it's two points you win a race it's 10 points that way the regular season champ all the people that got bonus points during the regular season have a big gap because i mean fedex cup does it in golf, right? They go to the last event and the leader of the points has got a five stroke advantage. Like it's, they give you a big advantage because you earn that. But in ours, it's, they erase all that going into the last week and then you just kind of go race. So I, I'm in favor of a tender, you know, again, it should be, di- they, they kept increasing the sample size because it depends on who you talk to, but they say, well, the sponsors who didn't make the playoffs were, you know, disappointed. Well, tough <laughs> run better. Sponsor a better car. Yeah, I, exactly. Sponsor a better car then. So they kept, then they increased it from 10 to 12. Then they went up to 16. And I hate to say it, but some of the teams that like squeak in, it's like, come on. Like it's, it just, I don't know. I, I think it needs to be a little bit more prestigious um, it's okay to have a big name miss it, like that. The, well, we do currently with sixteen in this next gen era. Okay, Chase Elliott missed it. He, he missed Bowman races. Missed oh. He missed races. He his car is in, so that tells you yeah, that. I, I mean, yeah, I guess that, you're right. That means his he he was good enough this year. Chase Elliott was good enough to make the playoffs. His car, I don't know. His I car think we, did. I think we have enough competitive cars now in the next gen era that. I mean, 12 would be wild, but it's almost half the field, Jared. I understand, but half the half, more than half, half the, the field now half is competitive. The teams in the league make the playoffs. Half the teams. I mean, come on. Might as well just say everyone makes it in the NBA. Half the teams do make the playoffs. <sighs> All right. I hear your point. I, I hear you. It's it's I validate what you're saying. Um, I think it's I think it's fine the way it is. The one race. I mean, are you really going to change it again? Realistically, probably I, not. I'm just saying it's. I think it's interesting that it's what you're doing now. Nothing matters except for the last race, and so if you win a championship, it just means that you won a race. It doesn't mean that you were the best through the season. It just means you won a race. Yeah. You just um, hope, you just hope so, that the guy who wins that race is the one you would have picked for yeah, the champion. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think that there's a couple ways that I'd, I'd like to see it change. You know, this can happen well after my career is over, but 10, 10 drivers, 10 weeks. Or, or you just have, if you have your 16 drivers, 10 weeks. Give us a big enough sample size. It's the reason that NASCAR pays the charters based off of a running average of finishes over the year. Like, it's, they don't reward it just off of one race. Like, there's a reason that you always gather a bigger sample size is because the more data points that you have, the more, what's the word? I want to say this right, but it's the better the results are showing the truth. I, I, I don't, I'm not saying that right, but you know, the more data, the more true the sample size is in the, in the truer the champ. Yeah. So, um, I think it should be 10 weeks, add up all the points, double all the bonus points during the regular season, or, or if you want to keep the points as it is, at least the final four should have three races to figure it out. Three races to figure it out. You then you've then got three championship races, and you go to venues that perhaps are maybe a little different. Mile, put a mile and a half in there. Put. A short, a true short track in there. Run Phoenix in there. 
Not, next thing you know, you've gathered enough data points to really pinpoint this guy was our best. But in the one race, the reason I say this is because, no offense to J.J. Ailey, but he just changed the outcome of Kyle Larson's finish. And that's not right for them, right? And it easily could happen in the final race. We know because it has happened. Carl Edwards got f***ed out of a championship because of a caution late. Martin Truex or myself f***ed out of a championship because of I think it was the same 15 car broke something at the end of Phoenix two years ago. I think it was our friend of the show, Garrett Smithley. I mean, it's not his fault. He didn't put the car together. I know. But it's, I'm saying that just, it's very Mickey Mouse when you, when you do it in such a small sample size. They're trying to fabricate a game seven moment instead of just, you know what, game seven is, is special because it is game seven. Yeah. It doesn't happen every series. I just don't think you can change it now. That you've uh, you're not going to change it yeah. now. I'm saying in the future. Let's let's think about it, right? It. So we know what we all are doing now. We know the format. Um, it just you always want to see the best truly crowned, and I think that that that's that's Jeff's argument that he made. He's like, listen, dude, I I used to get like just could not understand, but I just realized we've shifted from entertainment from you know uh, true blood racing to entertainment and and i get it as well i understand why we we came up with this but and this all got spurred up because you sent me the f-ing winston cup points that doesn't matter for f-ing. like who gives a shit about that all it says it's, is that basically over the course of the year so far it's literally a point. conversation that's had at this time every year not like a serious conversation. Well, you know why? But because you always point they it know it's a perennial it's, conversation. They, perennial conversation. They know <laughs> it's Mickey Mouse. This system is Mickey Mouse. That's why. That's why we have this conversation every single year. And so, um, you know, it is what it is. And we have to, uh, it, these are the rules in which we play by and which we strategize around. So anyway, moving on from that, let's wrap I, this 